Moving on, we'll go on to the lasso tool. So when you hit the letter L, you should by default get this regular lasso tool. And to use it, you just click and drag, and you can make a selection however you want. And then let go to finish your selection. So as you can see, the lasso tool is very unprecise, if that's even a word. And let's say I wanted to do something a little more specific, like make a selection around this triangle here. I almost couldn't remember the name for it. That's kind of depressing. Anyway, so if I control D to deselect that, and if I want to go to my polygonal lasso tool, I can hit shift and the letter L, and that will go on to the next tool in my list of lassos. You see how we got lasso tool, polygonal, and magnetic? Yeah, when you hit shift L, it moves on to the next one. So if I wanted to go to my magnetic lasso tool, I would hit shift and the letter L, and then just keep going through that with shift L, shift L, shift L, shift L. Okay, I think you guys get the point. So with the polygonal lasso tool, if I click at one of the corners, you can see that it makes a straight line to wherever my tool is. So I could click on the next corner, the one after that, and then click back on our original corner. You see how it gets that little circle next to it? That means that's the original point that I clicked on. And if I click on that, it will complete my selection. And then you can do whatever you want to that. Say I wanted to erase it with the eraser tool. Then I could start doing that. See, it doesn't erase that because I have a selection around the triangle. Okay, so the next tool is the brush tool, and along with that, the brush size and the brush hardness. To get to the brush tool, hit the letter B. And if you look up here in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that the brush is actually really soft right now. You see how it's got a feathered edge to it? Well, let's just click on this down arrow and put the hardness all the way up to 100% and close that back up. To decrease and increase the brush size, hit the left and right brackets, respectively. Do, 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 do. So if I made that right there, and then increase with the right bracket, increase some more, and there you go. So let's say I wanted it to be a softer brush so I could get this feathered edge around it. Well, I would hit Shift and the left bracket, to decrease the hardness and if you look up here in the upper left hand corner you can actually see the hardness changing when I hit the shortcut shift right bracket and shift left bracket and if I want to fill this up with green instead of blue then I would hit this switch foreground and background icon or just hit X and if I click there's green Hit the left bracket, size it down, size it down some more, and there you go. See? Nice, easy, straightforward, nothing to it. The last thing I want to go over is called the transform tool, which is very, very important because it's used a lot. So in order to use the transform tool, you would hit Control T on a Windows computer or Command T on a Mac. And when you hit that command, you can see we get this box around everything that's in our layer. So the transform tool basically lets you transform and edit, not really edit, but warp everything that's inside. See, if you click and drag on one of the corners, you start making it smaller or bigger or really, really tiny. You can do whatever you want to the size just by clicking and dragging one of these corners or one of these dots right here. And also, if you have your cursor outside of the box, you can click and drag and it will rotate everything that's inside. So another thing that you can do with the transform tool is if you hold the control button and put your cursor on one of the corners, you can click and drag and only that corner will be affected and it will give it a sort of 3D look to it. So if you 
click and drag it over here and make the box into a 3D wall kind of shape. Then that kind of looks like a like a 3D wall, right? And you could see this kind of pasted on or not pasted, more like painted onto some sort of wall in one of the things you're photoshopping. And let's say I liked how that looked, so I would hit this check mark up here or hit enter or return depending on what computer you're on and that will finish it up fix up the edges as best as it can so it doesn't look retarded and you're done so that's all I have for you guys thanks for watching if you need to download this Photoshop file then just find this video at jega.com and if you have any questions then leave a comment on YouTube or email me at brandon at thanks again see you next time